The Amazon is a primordial ecosystem full of intimidating creatures. Up first is the Kandiru. The Kandiru is easily one of the most infamous, terrifying, and disturbing fish ever found in the Amazon River. Will it wrap you up and crush you? No. Does it have a big bony head plate that can break ribs? No. Will it tear out chunks from your flesh? Also, no. So how is this catfish the worst creature in the Amazon? Well, the Kandiru is a parasitic blood-sucking fish that targets fish gills, which are rich in blood. It swims into the gills and extends spines that then dig into the flesh and hold it in place while it drinks its fill. The horrifying part comes when you hear the stories. Dozens and dozens of stories of the Kandiru tracking down and swimming into human urethras, where it then gets stuck with its spines after gorging itself on blood. It was believed that the Kandiru can smell urea in the water, which fish gills also secrete, and uses that scent to track down its prey. This would mean peeing in the water would also attract the fish, and if your private areas were actually in the water, then it would be able to swim inside and invade. In 2001, however, researchers posited that the Kandiru instead hunted by sight, not scent, which means that the narrow opening of the urethra is probably not their preferred target. Still, there have been doctors who claim to have removed Kandiru from men's genitals, though those claims have also been disputed. Still, maybe just don't pee in the Amazon. What's the most terrifying creature you've ever seen in the water? Do any of them stand up to the horrors of the Amazon? Let us know below. Up next, the Paku. Speaking of horrible things happening to people's sensitive areas, the Paku is an omnivorous relative of the piranha and has a reputation for eating nuts, both from plants and otherwise. Though like the Kandiro, their propensity for ball biting is probably grossly overstated, still Jeremy Wade of River Monsters did find a man who claimed to have been bathing nude when he had one ball bitten off. The marks left behind were like human teeth. That is, in reality, the most disturbing part of the Paku, its incredibly human-like teeth. This is an example of convergent evolution. Both humans and Paku eat flesh and plant matter, and so our teeth have adapted to be somewhat similar. But for people, as rare as it is, who get attacked by Paku, usually having toes bitten, it is still incredibly disturbing, as they are left with a bite mark akin to a small human having attacked them. Still, like most piranha species, these fish primarily eat plant matter, only chowing down on flesh when it readily presents itself. Paku, despite their terrifying reputation, are not really any more dangerous than any other Amazonian fish. But still, I would rather wear some tight-fitting underpants under my bathing suit just to be safe before I enter any water with a Paku in it. Up next, the green anaconda. The green anaconda is easily one of the most intimidating creatures on Earth. It is the largest and heaviest snake on the planet, and only second in length to the reticulated python. Specimens of the green anaconda have been found as large as 23 feet in length and weigh up to nearly 400 pounds. But despite its massive size, the green anaconda is also thought to be one of the most overestimated in size. Even experienced researchers often greatly overestimate the size of anacondas in the wild. No anaconda has ever actually been caught that is over 25 feet, but even experienced researchers will often double or triple the length of anacondas in their estimates. Anacondas are primarily aquatic, they can swim at high speed, and often drift with just their eyes and snout above the water. In terms of prey, it would really be easier to say what they don't eat insects. Otherwise, anacondas of a sufficient size will eat the largest prey they can get their constrictors on. Caimans, deer, peccaries, capybaras, and even jaguars are all on their menu. Green anacondas are also cannibalistic and will eat their own, though when young they primarily eat birds and fish. A personal anecdote, my guide through the Amazon told a story of canoeing with his father when an anaconda came up from below and wrapped up the canoe, crushing it. My guide used his machete to get the anaconda off, but with a crushed canoe, he and his dad had to swim all the way home. Up next, the payara. The payara may look just like your average fish until it opens its mouth, when it reveals two massive saber-like fangs that protrude from its bottom jaws. Then you start to understand their names of vampire fish, wolf fish, and saber-toothed tiger fish. They're also quite big, growing to upwards of three feet in length, with the largest ever caught weighing in at 40 pounds. However, despite their fearsome armament and size, they are not a threat to humans. They use those massive teeth to spear fish smaller than themselves. In fact, Payara are one of the primary hunters of the stereotypical terror of the Amazon, the red-bellied piranha. Payara are attracted to the sound and commotion of a piranha feeding frenzy, and will wait on the outer edges of the frenzy and spear piranha that stray too far from the 
the shoal. Payara, like Barracuda, use their streamlined and powerful bodies to stay in high current areas where the water is more clear and the force of the current puts smaller fish at its mercy. Other than that, very little is known about the vampire fish. We do not know how they court or mate, we do not know why they migrate, or many other questions. Up next, the Tyrant King Leech. Tyrannobdella rex, the living T-Rex, whose name translates to Tyrant Leech King, is easily the most nightmare-inducing creature on this list, in my opinion at least. Why? Because while other creatures, like jaguars, caimans, and anacondas, will target a human if the opportunity is right and they are extra hungry, T-Rex's primary host are humans. Tyrannobdella is fairly small when it's hungry and prefers to swim into the nose and mouth of its prey, where it then latches on with its inordinately large teeth and begins sucking blood. But the Tyrant King is not picky. Really, any human orifice will suffice, including any of the openings below your waist. This leech uses its large teeth to burrow into flesh and then latch on, after which it gorges itself on blood. But unlike most leeches that will take their fill and then drop off, the Tyrant King has no interest in letting go. Most people don't even notice that they have it until it begins to swell and cause internal pressure. It's most common for people to have them swim up their noses, after which a mild headache begins. This pain is from the leech burrowing into place, but then as it swells to up to four inches in length, it begins exerting more pressure and causing severe splitting headaches. Thankfully, the species is not lethal, but it is still utterly horrifying. Next, the giant otter. The giant river otter of the Amazon is an apex predator, and one of the most successful and dangerous creatures in the rainforest. They are also the longest mustelid in the world, a family that encompasses otters, minks, weasels, badgers, and wolverines. But unlike other mustelids, they are also highly social, living in tight and cohesive family groups of around eight individuals, and they communicate heavily using a wide variety of vocalizations. They can grow to longer than a human, though are less than half the weight, and use their incredibly powerful bite force to crunch down on just about anything in the Amazon. It feeds mainly on fish, but will also hunt anacondas and caimans, as well as crabs and other snakes. They are only active during daylight and hunt primarily using their sight. Sadly, they also have incredibly thick and waterproof coats of fur, which were considered a serious luxury item. The species was almost driven to extinction in the 50s and 60s by severe overhunting, and despite modern efforts to support the regrowth of the populations, they are still endangered to this day. And finally, the Arapaima. The Arapaima is a fascinatingly unique fish. It is one of the largest fish in the Amazon, but also tends to live in very calm and stagnant waters. These waters are often choked of oxygen, hypoxic and deadly to most other creatures. The Arapaima can actually take gulps of air above the surface water to make sure that they're getting enough oxygen. But surprising size and interesting adaptations do not a demon fish make. No, for that comes the surprise hidden within the Arapaima. They have a solid bony plate on their forehead that effectively allows them to turn their entire body into a battering ram. I've wrestled with Arapaima on a line, in a controlled setting of course, and I can tell you these fish are just pure, raw muscle. I was lucky enough to be several feet above the water, but fishermen in their canoes can often be capsized by these wrestling monsters. Arapaima are actually one of the most deadly fish in the Amazon, and they don't even have teeth. Instead, it's their tendency to charge at fishermen and boaters who disturb them, smashing their bony heads into their target with tremendous force. Jeremy Wade of River Monsters fame would suffer severe bruising and cracked ribs from just a relatively weak strike, but other people have been knocked completely unconscious and suffered severe internal organ damage from the force of a strong Arapaima hit. These unconscious and wounded victims are then often at a great risk of drowning, which is where most Arapaima fatalities come from. Still, they are absolutely delicious. We do not know the conservation status, but given their use in multiple traditional remedies and commercial ventures that are only growing in popularity, it is likely their populations are suffering. Those were terrifying creatures discovered in the Amazon River you can't unsee. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and share, and be sure to follow for more.